there's something about gravy that you get in a restaurant cafe most times it's not It's me again, Shira from Foodie Meets Food, and today we're at IKEA. We all know IKEA as a home interior store, but today we've come to try their cafe, which is just on the upstairs part of IKEA. Well, come with me, let's try it. Such a nice kitchen. Should I just decide to make my Swedish meatballs? They've got an oven, they've got seats, they've got plates, they've got everything I would need, so why not? The first thing I noticed when I stepped into the IKEA cuff was a nutritional and allergen information. In the UK, any business with over 250 employees now has to display calorie information on their menu. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this. I would be really interested to know what you think. The IKEA cuff has a rather basic setup. You queue up how you would normally in a canteen. Once you place your order, you go to the till to pay and then you help yourself to your cutlery and condiments. This place is huge. I'm trying to imagine how many people can fit here. I would say thousands. The Swedish meatballs are so popular, I could not not get them. Everybody that was before me, Swedish meatballs, 8, 12, 8, 12. They only serve 8 and 12, but I got the 8. They ask you if you want peas, they ask you if you want the jam, they ask you if you want mush or fries. I picked, I definitely picked the mush. I wanted peas, I wanted the gravy, and I wanted the meatballs and the jam. So I got everything that they, it comes with me. Okay, let's do this. The meatballs aren't that big, so I don't need to like slice in between. It will just be a matter of digging. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's decent. So I've just fried a bit of everything together, and that was a really good bite. Like it's, it's like a warm, homely bite. If you know what I mean, it's something you would have at home. So that was a good bite. And now I'm gonna try them individually. Of course, it's impossible to try just the meatballs without the gravy, but I'll try the meatballs, then the gravy on the side. It kinda, kinda tastes like a sausage. The inside of a sausage, it kinda tastes like that without the skin. Normally I don't like gravy that I haven't made myself because I feel like most times it's artificial but I hope I like this one. There's something about gravy that you get in a restaurant cafe. Most times it's not like the fresh one that they would make themselves so it's like the gravy granule, granules with water and it has an artificial taste so I prefer making it from scratch in my house by myself. Let's try the mush. Mm, that's a nice buttery mush. It's a bit lumpy but it's not like really big chunks. You can tell the potatoes have been cooked properly but it's got the lumps in there. I can fold it but I, I can also just eat it. Like it's not the best but it's edible. That's just jam, but it's not overpoweringly sweet, which means it's like they haven't added a lot of sugar and vinegar because you have to balance the sweetness of strawberries. They haven't added a lot of sugar and vinegar. The peas, 
boil peas. They're okay. Overall, it is a good meal if you eat it together because I liked the bite that I took together. If you eat it together, it's a good meal. The meatballs themselves complement the whole dish because of the flavor that comes from the meatballs. So if you have it all together, it's really good. It's something you would make at home, like in a rush. Do, 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 do. Mash the potatoes, do, do, do. make the meatballs, do, do, do. boil the peas and then just add some jam. It's something you would make at home. So I like the idea of it, but it's not the kind of food I'd be like, oh my God, I'm craving that. No, but it is convenient. That's what I'm trying to say, it is convenient. Let me know down below what you think and if you would eat in Ikea. Till next time.